today I am going to talk about the David's Tea Zomba Pearls. This is amazing tea. If you are looking for some good white tea, then this is like something you should definitely try. Basically, Zomba Pearls is this hand-picked Malawian white tea and they're hand rolled lightly oxidized white tea from Malawi Africa and they have a moderate amount of caffeine and I just love that they're hand picked and rolled and I will show you what they look like in just a second but to talk about them a little more they're best with hot water and so I, I definitely, you know, any tea can become cold. You can make iced tea with anything. That's a trick if you didn't know it. But this definitely tastes a lot better with hot water in my opinion. I don't like to add anything to my tea. I don't add honey or sugar or anything like that to each their own. But I just love the taste of this. This is so rich. It's so beautiful and it just smells so good and that's all I need, some hot water. I let it steep for four to seven minutes and then I only put one or two rolls in a cup. So the rolls here, I poured a few in this teacup. So as you can see here, out of the shadows, this right here is one of the rolls. So it looks kind of strange here, but it's actually really cool because it's just this beautiful leaf that opens up when it's in the water. It takes a second to open up and stuff, but it's it just smells so good and when you pour it, it has like this yellowy color and so it's just this rich citrusy kind of flavor and it it kind of tastes like you're drinking butter in a weird way but in in a good way so it just has this very rich exotic taste to it it depends really on how much tea you make how many of these you put in it but usually say i'm using a teacup like this i'll usually only put one or two and that's enough for this small amount though but back to this tea, it comes in this can here, or at least that's what I got mine in. But you know, David's Tea has some amazing packaging, so you'll have to see. I don't usually strain mine in water. I just like to let it open up and drink it that way. Um, but own preference. It also depends on the teacup you use because these are much better for just letting loose leaf tea in. And of course it is a loose leaf tea. You don't need a strainer for this in my opinion. But that's, you know. And it's good to keep them in a can like this or some kind of dark container. I usually keep mine with the rest of my tea in the cupboard. I don't drink it every day, but that's also because I have so much tea and there's so much that I can choose from. They're grown on a third generation of family owned garden in the Shire Highlands. Each leaf is hand plucked and rolled by an amazing team of 15 tea crafting local women. Wow. So that in itself is amazing. That's what they claim. You don't have to just drink it once. You can steep it many times and drink a lot of cups out of one. So it's actually even better that way because the more you sip it, the more your, the more cups you have with one of the tea leaves, the more it opens up each time and you get different flavors. It's very hard to just talk about. It's something you really have to experience and try. And David's Tea has many types of these pearls, but I love the Zomba ones. So definitely check them out. They have so many amazing blends and drinking them over multiple steeps or gong fu style, it smells incredible 
and I bought these ones actually in May, and it's mid-August now, and I don't drink them every day, but, you know, I don't... They're pretty full. It's pretty full here. Great gift for a tea lover. If it's someone who likes tea, they'll appreciate this so much because of everything that goes into this cup of tea. They have a very relaxing effect, but they do have caffeine in them, so keep that in mind. And yeah, uh, definitely try this out. I recommend it. It is my favorite. One of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you give this a try.